What's going on fellas? Welcome to another guide on how to fix race cancelled. Basically your game not even starting, getting crashed or some other minor problems. So today I'm going to cover them as quickly as possible as I've literally fixed one guy's game today with TeamViewer. But fellas, it's becoming way too many people reaching out for help and I'm with super limited time. So I'm going to make guides so I can help you out. And please, big disclaimer, do not skip the goddamn video. A lot of you tell me, Oh, I've watched it. No, bro, you literally skipped minute by minute or by seconds and you missed important details. And then you come to me and ask me, why is my game not working? I watched the video. If you really watch the video, you won't be even reaching out to me. Your game will be fixed. So please, fellas, do not skip. And let's go ahead now. So first major problem, fellas. I've prepared a folder here. We'll use it later. Now, quickly, let's go very quick here. So you go to this PC, make sure you have space in C, make sure you have space in the second drive, of, or if you use one drive, make sure you have space. It should not be red. I've seen so many people, one gigabyte, two gigabytes free, bro, your Windows is barely, literally operating. Therefore, like, imagine even launching a game. So <laughs> there's no space. Second problem, f make sure you open some space up. Then... Second problem is a lot of you deleted this documents folder. So when you try to open it, you get red error, which tells you, you know, game folder is missing or you cannot do that. Some, some crap, right? So how to restore documents folder and why do you need it? So for a set of Corsa to run, when you launch a set of Corsa initially, the most major thing that happens is a set of Corsa is making a documents folder like this one right here with all the configs, files, replay, everything that, the game itself needs to load. This is why it's super important to have this folder. Now, let's say you deleted this folder like most of you fellas. I don't blame you for that, but it is what it is. Everyone makes mistakes, everyone needs to learn. You right click this documents folder, go to properties. Once you're in the properties, you go to location and you click restore default. Now, once you click restore default, it will restore this path then you click apply, it might ask you to replace or something, just allow it, press yes, and press OK. So I'm not going to do that now, because I already, for me, I have the folder, everything is fine, right? I didn't buzz the folder. Once you restore the folder, your game should be able to launch properly. Now, a lot of people also complain, oh, but my game is not launching properly and stuff. Like, uh, one guy recently contacted me, and he's like, my game is launching in VR. Bro, I mean, this is very basic. Go to settings, a set of course of video, make sure you are running your game with whatever you have if you have single screen select single screen and then adjust your resolution for the monitor once that's out of the way you're good to go you can try the game if that doesn't work i've seen a lot of you fellas actually have messed up soul messed up pure you literally drag and drop please do not drag and drop stuff in content manager it's gonna you're gonna screw your game your single player might work but when you go in multiplayer you get tons of problems literally it might work for now but in the future you'll get a lot of problems single player almost always works fine but multiplayer doesn't so let me show you how to fix this so gonna go to a set of course of folder let me show you basic installation and an installation of uh, like how i do it of the guides I previously did for pure soul. So we're gonna go, if you have only soul, that's fine. You're gonna run soul and install dot bat. Now, a lot of people ask, okay, but I don't have soul and install bat. Come on, bro, 200 IQ. You open this archive, soul 2.2.7. Also make sure to use WinRAR, links will be down in the description. So make sure to download and install, very nice program. You can directly open the archive instead of extracting it like 7-zip, that's the biggest minus of 7-zip then. You grab this so and install that, you place it here, you replace, and now we're gonna run this so and install bat, which went to the bottom, sorry. We're gonna run it, then you press no. I don't wanna delete the, the configs, right? Now my so is gone. Then once my so is gone, let me show you how to install. Super simple. You grab all the files, fellas. Let me show you that actually the soul is really gone. I do have pure though, but it should be gone. All right. 
we go to custom shader patch from settings, we go to weather effects, and you see my controllers, everything is gone. But Pure is still here though, of course Pure is still here, but that's normal. Now, I'm going to drag and drop all the files from Soul into my Assetto Corsa folder, then click replace. There you go. Now your saw is ready. And make sure to not grab and drag and drop them in some of the folders. Please, guys. Like, you're not only going to increase the, the space for now. They're not going to work. The, file, the important files need to be in the root directory. Make sure to also restart your content manager so the changes can apply. And there we go. We have the controller and we have Soul 2.2.7. And you might ask, okay, but I don't have it enabled in game. Okay, you go to uh, you go to settings, Acero Corsa, apps, Soul, Soul, Soul. So make sure all these four are enabled. Now for pure, a lot of you also screwed up the pure. This is very important. Don't only uninstall and install so you have to fix the pure as well. If you don't have an install pure bat, you can also drag and drop it here and use it to uninstall the game. Now we're gonna run the pure and install bat. We're gonna go and find there you go. Finally, I figured, find out my folder. Gonna press OK. Deleted Pure. Now Pure is gone. All right. Once Pure is deleted, we can double check if Pure is there. We go to Settings. We go to Custom Share Patch, Weather Effects. See? Only so. Pure is gone. Close this. Grab all these files. Drag and drop here. Now I'm gonna address uh, some critiques of people. Okay, but. You can only run install pure bat and the install pure bat will delete pure and stuff like that, bro. Let me tell you something. I mean, I've helped hundreds of people already how to fix their game. Let me tell you the difference why this is the safest way is because I'm first uninstalling the pure, then I am drag and dropping and installing manually. I do not trust an install pure bat. Why? Is because a lot of people actually complained that they cannot even start the batch file. They cannot even run the uninstall pure bat. Why? I can only guess. Uh, this is the safest way and optimum for most people. Why? Because I don't know if you have multiple antiviruses. They always cry about files. So the manual way is going to work all the time. I don't have to think about, oh, do you have antiviruses? Do you have programs that's going to block this and stuff like that, the batch file? Antiviruses will detect almost any random crap nowadays. That's why I only use Windows Defender, but I know how to deal with it. Anyways, this out of the way. Gonna open Content Manager real quick. Let's see. Pure. Boom. Pure is here. Now, just to be bulletproof, fellas. Just to be bulletproof. We're gonna reinstall Custom Shader Patch. Let me show you how this is done. You're gonna delete the patch. You're gonna restart Content Manager. Open Content Manager. Something very important. If you have the preview version, don't just drag and drop the preview version. This is not the full lights patch. This is not the full custom shader patch, fellas. This is not, I'm repeating, this is not the full custom shader patch version. This is the full base version and the lights patch, which comes with only a few extra features, a bit more graphics, a bit more options here and there. And the rain effects, which is the real rain, is what you need to install afterwards. Just treat it as an addition or as DLC. That's the easiest way to explain. But do not install only that. You're, you don't have the full files of the CSP then. So we're going to drag and drop it. We're going to install. It installs perfectly. Let's say here you get can't install two things at once. Very simple, fellas. You close Content Manager. You right click. Right click again, run as administrator. Now, once you've run Content Manager as administrator, you go here to these three dashes, you install from a file, you select the lights patch, and this is how you brute force the installation and overcome the can't install two, uh, two files at once. Now, you're gonna restart Content Manager because honestly, it's very annoying to be in administration mode. You cannot do stuff, anything almost. You want to check again, so apps are ready. Then you want to check custom shader patch, check your weather effects. Latest controller, great. Pure is here, so is here. That's good. Then you want to go into your PC, 
You want to check, is your documents folder opening? Is, is there a set of course of folder? And by the way, uh, this a set of course of folder will generate once you go in game. So you have to start the game once. By the way, there is very important stuff for people that uh, never started their Acero Corsa. Please launch your Acero Corsa at least once if you literally just bought the game before you go into Content Manager. So the game can create this, uh, this folder and stuff. I've heard a lot of people have this problem. So once you have this folder generated, you'll be good to go. Again, if you don't know how to restore your folder, I'm repeating, you op open Properties, right-click, Properties, boom, go to Location, Restore to default, apply. It will ask you, do you really want to create the new folder or restore the folder? Click yes or confirm whatever it's going to ask you. Then click OK. I don't have to do that because I don't want to reset my folder, right? I, I already have the folder. Make sure you open some spaces here, CE, whatever. And uh, basically, you should be good to go, fellas. This is how to fix your game not running properly and not even launching. It's not launching because you're not having your documents folder. Please remember this. You need your documents folder to not be deleted. You need the documents folder so the Acero Corsa can have all the video files, post-processing filters, whatever, everything, so it can launch it and all the presets. So basically, I hope I didn't miss anything. That's that for me. I'm going on a guide spree for fixes now because I really fell us. Don't have much time. You see, if you go to my Discord server, there's a, were a lot of people coming for help. I've made a ticket system. So if you really have a problem, come here into the tickets, open a ticket, and we'll help you out. Of course, you need to first verify yourself by going here, clicking this, and the bot will verify you. Then you can use the notifications for our mods or songs, car meets that I make, or YouTube videos. So that's that. I want to thank very much my supporters, my boosters, my patrons, my YouTube members. Thank you very much, guys. It's great to know that people support me. I really appreciate your support. And for now, fellas, wish you all the best and we'll see you in the next video.